Hey everybody, Mac Monster back with Diablo 3. And we got the monk up again. And uh, been having fun doing a Tempest Rush build. Um, some old throwbacks, of course. It works a little differently with 2.0, but um, almost the same. Unfortunately, your auction house is down, so if you don't still have an old two hander, you'll have to buy a really weak two hander to use. Well, the good news is it will still work pretty effectively. Um, so let's go over the skills first here. Now the meat of the build is Tempest Rush with Tailwind. Um, the Tailwind is going to us 25% faster run speed while channeling it. And it's a 15 spirit to start with 10 spirit while channeling. And it gives us 240 weapon damage while running. Now how that channel works is you're going to take uh, your attack speed and times the channel cost and that's how much you're, you're spending. So I have 1.21 attack speed so I'm spending 12.1 spirit a second. Uh, that's how it's effective. That's why you want to use a two-hander because it's a slower attack speed. The slower the better. The higher the damage the better. Uh, you get more out of it. It does attack faster with faster attack speed. So you, if you have a higher uh, spirit generation rate, you can go with a higher attack speed and get some more damage in that way. Uh, I'm doing it on Torment 1 because it's kind of like a, a speed farm build anyways. Um, so I'm making it work that way. So seeing how we need spirit, Mantra of Healing with Circular Breathing is going to be a uh, primary choice. Give us three spirit a second. Plus it gives us health per second. Um, and a shield to activate if you wanted to if you're in trouble. And seeing how we're using that circular breathing, might as well use Chant a Resonance. Gives us an extra two spirit just for having a mantra active. Uh, so that's giving us five spirit a second right there. Um, going to have the pet Mystic Ally with Air Ally. Gives us an extra two spirit. So we got two, five, seven spirit a second right from those. Um, and we get a pet that's doing some extra damage. That's pretty nice. Definitely like that. Um, then I got Serenity Ascension for four seconds of uh, immunity to everything. Uh, that's very nice to have. So basically four of 20 seconds, you can do whatever you want. And just in case you hit like a really bad... Uh, pack or something you have the ability to get out of there and be immune to stuff to heal um, very nice to do and then because I've gotten over the 12.1 uh, spirit per second uh, threshold I'm doing sweeping wind with master of wind should you still not be meeting your spirit needs you can do inner storm and get an extra four spirit a second uh, that could allow you to go with a two hand two one-handers maybe uh, if you're up that high that's a lot of spirit per second you're gonna need though I have low crit rate so cyclones out master of wind gives me 15 seconds I could do blade storm for 120 weapon 120 percent weapon damage however you know 90 with cold damage which slows everything and prevents them from running away master of wind is a pretty nice uh, benefit firestorm not too bad bigger AoE However, 15 seconds with cold damage still sounds sweet to me. Um, and then just a single target, just in case I need it for some reason. I ran out of spirits somehow. Something went so terribly wrong. Way of the 100 Fists with Fists of Fury because it's just one of the best single target uh, spirit generators out there. Um, just in case. Or just, just in case you don't want to Tempest Rush something down, you want to burn it down you can hit it with this and then obviously we're going to do guardians path so we increase the spirit generation by 35 percent while using a two-hander because we are going to be using a two-hander we plan on it if you're dual wielding you don't need this we already discussed chance of res chance of resonance and then exalted soul for giving us another two spirit generation a second and an extra hundred spirit in our pool so we got two here four seven nine we should be able to hit what we need pretty easily 
going into gear, I was going on to spirit. I'm at 13.5, so I've exceeded my 12.10. As you can see, I can run around at faster than my normal move speed while doing my damage. So it becomes a little bit of a, a rush or speed farming build. Um, if you have a lot of hit points, you could take movement speed and passes, but I'll go over what I'm doing in passes in a moment. So, I, like I said, attacks per second to 1.21. You just times that by that 10 uh, channel cost. I have a low ch crit chance, but it's just enough to get to the three stacks. That's all I have to do. I get my 90% extra weapon damage going around me, which is the same AoE just about as uh, Tempest Rush. So now I'm doing 330% damage all around me. Um, area damage. Very nice extra damage here because uh, everything's around you. You're doing all your damage at a pinpoint location. This gives you a 20% chance to also deal extra damage to everything within 10 yards. It's kind of synergetic. Uh, take whatever you can, if you can. Um, armor. I got you know kind of low armor. Decent uh, resistances. No life steal. High life per hit, 2130. Life per hit pays out pretty good. Life per second, really high, pays out pretty good again. Um, and then I got the 13.5 spirit regeneration. That's what I needed. Movement speed plus 25%. That's from Tailwind. Or that's from uh, Gear. Tailwind, once I hit it, gives me plus another 25%, giving me plus 50%. And uh, that's really it. Passive wise, um, I'm sitting at 85,000. If I took off my vitality, I would go down to 78, and I could put it into movement speed. And that would debt me from 50 to 65.5. But I think I'll take the survivability. You know, I find uh, surviving a little bit better than moving 15% faster. 50% extra boost is enough for me. I went with a crit chance because I need the crits just to get this up there. The sweeping wind. That's not as important. Um, cooldown report. None of these really work. You don't want to do attack speed so much because you don't want your spirit cost to go up. Uh, cooldown reduction. You only have one skill that's really on cooldown. And you're not really going to reduce it too much. So crit chance is the only thing that really works. It doesn't cost any spirit. It gives you some extra damage. Helps proc up uh, the Master of Wind. Uh, that's the only smart choice there. Here, any of these are really smart choices. I went with life just to boost my life up. And then on the utility, I went with the area damage. Um, if you don't have it, if you feel the need that you have to go somewhere else, put at least one point in here just so you have that ability. It's still a 20% just to do 1%. Um, it could proc some uh, life per hit for you. Uh, people say it doesn't crit. Not sure if that's true or not, but might as well have it there just in case. Uh, why not? And uh, that's it. So let me just accept that. So that's the build. And then I can go ahead and show it off. All the gear. I did get kind of lucky. I got the Naggle Ring. This is actually uh, 2.0 loot. It's got some life per hit on it, some regeneration, high vitality, and uh, extra magic find. I like that. I got Leoric Signet. This has got some extra uh, um, XP on it, crit chance, not too shabby, resistances. Uh, I'll probably be looking for something better and throw this on my Templar. Even though it's not a Templar ring, I'll take that extra bonus XP on the uh, down low through the Templar. I switched over the Nemesis Breaker Bracers. If you saw the Demon Hunter, uh, these will go on just about anyone I can throw it on. Just because every shine I click, I get a champion pack. I'll take that. Uh, the Flavor of Time, this is actually a... Uh, uh, 2.0 loot as well. It gives me some attack speed, reduces some cooldown, gives me some movement speed, and reduces uh, damage. Not too shabby. The Mempo I threw on. 
even though it's got attack speed, it does have high dex, high resistances, reduces or uh, uh, gives me some um, life with the socket and then some range and melee attack damage. And uh, I got this Cord of Sherma, which is nice, high vitality, decent dex, high resistances, some uh, life per second, and then a chance to hit to create a chaos field that blinds and slows enemies inside it for two seconds. That's going to be awesome right there. Everything else is uh, old gear. So, uh, just remember that I have to do that. I can go back to this. And now, very interesting thing is, you never have to lay off Tempest Rush. You can always run around at max speed. Because we're using Master of Wind, we get 15 seconds to go ahead and uh, hit something else. That's that belt of Sherma proccing, blinding everything. You can see it, it does do some pretty good damage. The only reason I'm losing spirits is because I'm stopping to click stuff. So it doesn't really matter because I got nothing else to spend spirit on. And then if I really wanted to generate spirit, I would just not right click my Tempest Rush until I got spirit back. I can actually do higher MP, it's just not fast. This is obviously fast. To properly farm, if you really want to farm legendaries, you got to kill everything. Some people say you don't have to kill commons, just to kill packs and click on everything. I find killing packs most effective. Most effective, I find resetting your story mode and just running the quests, and I kill, I kill everything I can. Unless it's really taking me off the beaten path, I won't go off the beaten path. But, you know, I'll look for the Crypt of the Ancients here. I'll look for certain places, big uh, areas. I'll go in where I know there's big, large packs of mobs. And I'll go kill those mobs. And I know there's stuff to loot. I've gotten legendaries off of regular things, bone piles, rock piles, uh, regular treasure chests, I meant to say. I've gotten one from a log. I've never gotten one from a resplendent chest. I've never gotten one from a cursed chest or the bonus chest, which happen to be both uh, resplendent chests. Um, I've gotten them from quests. That was kind of interesting. I didn't realize that would happen. I've had them so timers kick in. I find resetting the quest really uh, helps at least once and running through. I'm not sure if that's just a uh, coding error or what that makes you maybe makes the game think that it's still in uh, pre 2.0 stages but or the full loot doesn't kick in or maybe it was just my luck ah here's the warden he's pretty easy because we get to run faster he can't outrun us anymore we do tons of AOE damage And because we freeze him, he really can't run anymore. He can't attack as fast. But even at max speed, he can't get away. And yes, it's that easy. That's why I say I can do much higher climates. But it's not as effective.
So that's how I Tempest rushed anyways. You can swap in and out certain skills. I find really just the spirit regeneration to meet your attack speed times the uh, channel cost is what you need to do. After that, it's all open to, to interpretation. I like the, the movement speed, obviously moving that fast with Tailwind is very beneficial. I would suggest staying with Tailwind and I do like uh, the cold damage to catch up the bosses and freeze them. And, they attack slower, so it's really uh, helpful. Mind you, when you start moving up in Torment sliders, that you are not very defensive, so unless you have your de defenses in place, uh, you're going to take some damage. But that's it, so I hope it helps. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to everybody later.